Hello, friends. I'm Sergio Schneider from Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. I'm Potira from Uniski, Brazil. I'm Terry Marsden from Cardiff University in the United Kingdom. So, dear uh, friends, mates and comrades, we are here today to launch the book Food and Agriculture in Urbanizing Societies, Pathways for a Better Future. Uh, I'm here as also as an editor of the volume, but also as the general series editor. Um, the series is entitled Rural Sociology and Development, and it has been running for um, over 25 years. It's, it's associated with the International Rural Sociological Association and it is published by Emerald, who we are sincerely grateful for in producing over the years a very good uh, product. So we thank the publishers. Um, over the 25 years, um, the series has produced um, key uh, volumes on a series of uh, comparative uh, rural sociology and development themes like globalization, uh, labor relations, gender, rural welfare, resource governance, alternative food movements, and most recently family farming and sustainable uh, innovation. Uh, the books are extremely widely read by scholars across the world. It is a global international series and it's a great pleasure that we've got this latest volume um, to which we're now launching. Yes, thanks Terry and uh, dear uh, colleagues. Uh, this book has a focus on issues of agriculture and food. We three, uh, we uh, dedicate the book to our dear colleague Flaminia Ventura. The book has contributions from uh, different countries like uh, the UK, like Canada, like Italy, uh, Brazil itself and South Africa and Argentina. Uh, just to uh, advertise the book, uh, you may uh, ask why should I buy this book? <laughs> uh, the contribution of this book addresses major challenges for our societies in this uh, post-COVID period that we are live. Uh, the context is, is, is very tough uh, and, and matters uh, related to food, energy and environment become more and more challenging. So this is what the book is, uh, is, is uh, focusing on uh, and it's a uh, word for uh, urban planners and also people that work with rural development worldwide. So we have nine chapters from different schools uh, worldwide. We start with a chapter from Tin Lang talking about public food policies and the role of consumers and the state. Then we have Terry Marsden talking about sustainable agri-food transformation in the rise of disruptive governance. We have a chapter from Evan Bowes, Hannah Whitman and colleagues talking about food sovereignty and urbanizing a risky world. The role of business and sustainable development from Jacobo and Gianluca Brunotti. Then we have a chapter from Sergio talking about rural urban relationships and through territorial markets. The Mark Wagorif contribution is about food security in South Africa after COVID-19. I have an article with Fernanda Vasconcelos talking about the role of civil society in sustainable food systems. And we close with an article from Javier Correco, Graciela Ottman and Antonio Lacuta talking about the urban agriculture in Rosario, Argentina. So the book is available at Amazon, so you can easily find it. And we hope the, the book can be well read across the community of scholars of rural sociology and rural development. So thank, thank you. you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.